My name is Sam Potter, and for the last few years, my curiosity has led me on adventures around the world. But more importantly than the adventures themselves are the people that they've led me to. And the ones I've truly fallen in love with are those who are still deeply connected to the natural world. This series is about them, their passion for wild places, and how we might be able to find our way back to the wild. After our time in the bush with the master trackers of the Royal Mowan, we headed back to Cape Town to regroup before our next adventure. The plan was to drive from Cape Town into the Trans Sky, a 250,000 kilometer stretch of rugged coastline, mostly home to the Ngosa people, a rare place, rich in culture, language, and tradition. We also heard it was home to some pretty incredible waves. Our friend Frank was supposed to guide us around the place, but a day before the trip, his finger fell off. <laughs> we didn't know where we were going or how we were going to get there. Luckily, we made some friends that helped us out, and with our 4x4 Bucky, we were off for like a minute. No more driving the car. <laughs> and the first place on the to stop list was called Hole in the Wall. Pretty self-explanatory. Cole heard about it oh. and was determined to surf through. This is a bad idea. Do you think we can surf through that? I don't know if we can surf through that. I mean, the archway is pretty big, but the way the waves coming in, like it's kind of like bouncing around. Yeah, I think we should definitely watch it for like five minutes. I think we should just do it. <laughs> <laughs> These little, th these things are just like kind of funny because it's like, yes, it is possible, but yes, it's very sketchy. And yes, we are very, very far away from any help. That was not a good idea. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, wait, we're actually. As soon as you did, I'm like, I'm getting one from the halfway. Oh my god. It looks so hard. Thank you so much. Good time. Pushing me. Yeah, I'm glad I pushed you and then didn't do it. <laughs> met a dog. You met a dog? Mm hmm. I met a pig. What's the name of the dog? Franklin. Hmm. Great name. I named him Tiger. He's a little squeaker. What do you think, Tiger? Should we go surfing? Come in! Come in! So we are currently roaming grass hills in Transkai. Ko has been here before. He has a vague idea of where we're going. Um, he knows that there's good ways around here. And we just got some more very vague directions on how to get there. <laughs> Yeah, for the cows. <laughs> I think you got it. And you can surf, man. Maybe. Go this way, huh? Oh. You wanna come with us? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yee. How's Yee. it? Yo. Late, boy. Too late, boy. <laughs> I feel bad leaving one. Sweet. 
<laughs> if anything, we're a hell of a bus service today, even if we don't find any waves. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to get her to jump on you. Yo! There are a couple people. Maximum capacity. <laughs> this truck is definitely a max capacity. He's like, I'll get there faster than you. Oh, he forgot their sugar cane. <laughs> oh, here comes the first squad of moms. Tomorrow morning. Come on, Dad. Bye. Morning. Yes. Yeah, first morning. Yes. 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 Out of food is an exaggeration, but we definitely underestimated or overestimated how much food was gonna be here. Luckily, we have a guy who's staying here at Volcani Backpackers with us. They're doing like a full spear fishing mission. And he gave us breakfast, which is nice, but that's only one meal and we're here for several more days. So today, we're gonna go spear fishing with Blow Me. Like being in a new ocean, every ocean feels so different. New faces, new sounds, new sharks. <laughs> Honestly, don't tell Koa these stories, but these guys were telling me the gnarliest great white stories. Full bites and tourniquets and like, it's like, no, if that happened out here, you'd be done. There's no hospitals out here. You can't even buy food. He was spear fishing and it came and bumped him. And he was like, I couldn't put my hands around the thing. Right where we were yesterday. The ones we get back home are like big. Yo, what's this? Why did you get yours on so quickly? Okay, hold on guys. Oh my god. You nervous? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> this is Charles the one we normally launch at at Facebook. Oh no! The drone's acting up, so we might need to chase it with the okay, boat cool. a little no bit. Problem. Having some drone problems right now. The controller got wet, oh. and it's going its own direction. Oh, oh, don't go that way. Oh, oh. This way. I think I'm just gonna rotate it around like this. How do you do that spiral? Someone can Here it comes. It. We got this. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Give me the drone! Next time around, next time around, next time around, next time around. Okay, around. Bring it, bring it, bring it. Oh! 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 Oh!
tell depending you. on what shark uh if it's a white then uh, you shout white <laughs> but yeah. if it's uh, any of the other sharks i mean it will leave you alone um bronzies bronze whalers and tiger sharks they'll come and irritate you though they're more aggressive sharks there's a whale well, over well, there right so yeah there's a right whale oh, okay. oh. <laughs> this is gonna be a picture The visibility is about three feet and it's super creepy down there. I don't know if this is my vibe, honestly. Okay, so we saw some very nice marks on the sonar. Um, so I dropped the guys in. It's about 35 feet, that's just over 10 meters. The guys are gonna make their first drop now and then we'll see what happens. This is spooky. <laughs> After several days of adventure, we met Maui, a local boy born and bred around these parts. We had a lot in common. Both 25 years old, both in absolute love with the places we call home. And when he noticed my nose was a bit stuffy, he insisted we go and see the Sangoma, a witch doctor, as some may call her. Or in other words, a traditional healer, a herbalist, or even simpler ones, a wise woman who likes to care for others. Her name was Natswana. She had kind eyes and tough hands. We helped her with some chores, and she made me the most delicious tea to clear my head. <laughs> every home we went to and every person we met, they just made me feel free. It's pretty cool. Places you have a very special place here. Yeah. We went to this, see the Sangoma, and uh, you started saying, oh, well, she makes her money through making mats because the medicine, she doesn't charge. Mm -hmm. It's just, I'm here for you if you need me. Like we're all friends together. We don't fight. We don't. We don't fight each other. We love each other. So it's like, like here we share everything. Like everything. Even if I, if I, if I'm visiting my friend, he's eating. He's gonna. He's gonna. What was I getting? And say, hey, how are you? He say, yeah. Then he's gonna grab the spoon and say, come, come join. <laughs> We were like, oh, what's this song saying? Because it was repeating it over and over again, and it was like about freedom, and about being free and feeling free. Yeah, like, Wom kile kile. Wom kile kile. Yes. Wom kile kile, that means you wanna come. So that means, so, so that, that song was just like, feel, feel at home. Yeah, feel free, we all together. Wom kile kile.
South Africa was something special. I've never been so many places that made me want to stay. Or met so many people that made it too hard to say goodbye. I felt at home here. I felt free. That's a rare feeling. Free. I learned that life is a gift and that the earth just keeps on giving. I think it's worth the risk. I learned that with great time and dedication comes great knowledge. And with great knowledge comes great appreciation. I learned that it's the people that make a place. And that whatever you give to this world, you're sure to get it back. I hope we all give love. We all find freedom. And we all feel at home. Wherever we are. Song for them. Mostly, mostly Corey, Corey. but we're the backup singers. Yeah. Yeah. Should I be on this side or? or you should, should be in front, and then we'll be behind you. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brown cow. Okay, ready? Yes. There once was a ship that sailed to sea. The name of the ship was the Bully yeah, of Tea. Pulled. The sun blew down and the bow blew down. Oh, blow my bully boy, blow. Oh! Soon may the weathermen come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the drumming is done, we'll take our leave and go. Da 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 da